Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Demo Day 2022. I'm super excited to have you all here. We have participants uh, from all over Latin America and even uh, some from Europe and the United States. So thank you very much for making the time. Um, this is our 2022 Demo Day, an event which is organized by the Ganesha Lab. And the Ganesha Lab is a global biotech scale up. What we do is that we work with biotech startups from Latin America with the goal to help them internationalize their business, to prepare their businesses in the sense of transforming science into good business. What does good mean? Good means, of course, a financial good. That means we want the startups and the investors to have good financial results. But even more important and as important is the good in the sense of impacting the world. Impacting the world, for example, to support the big challenges we see in um, aging population and related chronic diseases, healthcare access, food scarcity, pandemics, epidemics. All those are big problems which we face. And these are problems which are not faced in a region, in a city or in a, in a country, they're faced globally. And that's our mission to really support those startups which are originated from Latin America to have that impact on a global scale. Over the past six months, we have been working with our seventh generation of startups, which came from different countries. I mentioned the countries, Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, um, I think I didn't miss any. So four different countries in Latin America. And we have been working with them through a structured program, which helps them to really learn what it takes to take a, an idea or a first prototype to prepare it to really start validating and then scaling it in international markets. For that, we deliver workshops, we deliver mentoring, coaching, access to partners, international partners. Um, and of course, and that is the first time today, welcome to all the investors in the room, to the investors which might be interested in supporting those startups in their journey of internationalization. So today you will get to know seven startups which have been working with us since July of this year. Um, all of them have been working extremely hard. Um, it's an intense program. I just mentioned a few numbers, seven startups participating in the first four months in 25 workshops. Each workshop means homework. Wo homework means individual sessions with the mentors. Then we follow with eight workshops uh, within a two week period with partners in the United States and all this translate in what you will see today. So today they will present and we at the end will uh, present to you who are those two startups which have been selected to initiate their international market validation program. That means they are sponsored by the Ganesha Lab to go for a defined period of time to the United States, meet with our partners, meet potential market participants and uh, uh, develop their uh, validation in the, in the US market. This can be a business model validation. This can be technical validation to prepare that big step going into the United States. A few elements which you need to know. On the right hand side, you see already the chat. In that chat, our team will um, give you information about uh, what's going on during the event. You will also have the possibility to provide feedback to the pitch. That means there will be a poll which you can answer so that you provide feedback to the pitch. Um, and there will be service during, during, the, uh, during the, uh, the entire pitch session. After the pitch presentations, which will be seven, seven each five minutes, no judging, only your polling. That means your feedback is, is important to us. And after that, we will announce 
the two which are selected for the international market validation program. After that, you have the chance to meet the startups. We have created seven meeting rooms, which you can select by clicking on the meeting room and you will be connected directly into the meeting room with voice and video and you can meet the founders and ask questions. Of course, you can also ask questions in the chat. They will not be answered during the pitch, but they can be answered afterwards in the, um, in the, in the meeting tables. This is a little bit about the process today. So, who will we see today? And that we will introduce to you sh through a short video. our quick introduction um, and without further delay I want to call um, Sid Lali on stage. Sid Lali is the CFO of Blebs Vision, a company established in Mexico but Sid Lali is already in the United States so she has already started to um, get to know and uh, um, uh, put, your, put her feet into the United States as a first step for, for, for the company to really make sure the, the team and the company as such understands the challenges which they are facing. Sid Lali, the stage is yours. You have five minutes and uh, with no further delay, all the best of luck to you. Hello. We increase access to visual health by creating portable and flexible devices. In 30 years, half of the world population will see like this. The problem is that having myopia increases the possibilities of developing more severe eye diseases and increasing the chance of blindness. These are the specialists who take care of eye diseases. The optometrists are the first level of contact with patients. They have the ability to prevent, detect and solve visual problems. They perform eye exams to assess vision, prescribe glasses and contact lenses. In LATAM, the problem of visual health is the lack of the right tools. They are very expensive. In the US, the situation is very different. There are enough resources and it is rare to find an eye doctor that cannot afford them. But there is an emergent treatment called myopia management. To stop the progression of myopia, mainly in children, with drops and contact lenses. Contact lens adaptation can be very tricky when children are the patients. The process must be done fast, easy, and adapt to the patient. Current technologies are bulky and time-consuming. It is the patient who has to move and adapt to the device. And these constraints limit the optometrist's efficiency and patient attention. Our goal in BLEPS Vision is to empower optometrists with knowledge and flexible technology. Let me show you our first development. This is TOCO, a handheld corneal topographer. This accurate diagnosis helps in the detection of corneal pathologies and the adaptation of contact lenses. What makes us so competitive is that we have the same quality as the fixed devices but in a portable technology. We accomplish this by developing our unique pattern and software involving complex algorithms to guarantee the precision of a handheld technology. And there are three studies that verify our accuracy. 
This is our second technology, DIFO. It allows the specialist to view and document images of the retina outside the practice and to detect diabetes-related problems like glaucoma. Our products seek to increase efficiency and flexibility in the practice. Their portability allows faster screening and care of special patients in different scenarios. They can be used with babies, kids, elderly, wheelchair users, and even perform the study inside an OR. Our technologies are scalable and can be taken from a small practice to rural communities and development countries. What makes us unique is that we combine the knowledge in optics, computer science, and design, being R&D or, or core value. We have the knowledge to target gaps in the ophthalmology field where there is a huge need of innovation. We have an utility model for our unique pattern. However, our real IP strategy is a trade secret of our software. All of our software it is developed in-house and it is our most valuable asset. We have an internal structure to maintain it as a trade secret. Just like our competition, our software is not published anywhere to avoid being copied. Our products are manufactured by third parties, and one big advantage is that our devices can be shipped directly to the customer, reducing transporting fees and avoiding the travel of an installation crew that other companies need. In order to reduce the entry barriers in the US, we will be partnering with allies who already have the distribution channels and we have two interested. Our goal is to start Toco Cells next year in the US as hardware as a service. It is important to mention that Toco is a 510k exempt for FDA and there is also a reimbursement code for this study. The global ophthalmic market device represents $25 billion and growing. And only in the US, there is an opportunity of $450 million. We have been doing bootstrapping since 2015. And today, we are looking for allies and $1 million investment to successfully land in the US market. We have the capacity to develop other solutions like DOC. And this is an opportunity to change people's lives. So if you share our vision, let's talk. Congratulations, Sid Lali. Wonderful presentation. Big shout out for you. And not only great, but you were sharp on time. So, you know, if you would not be from, from Mexico, I would assume you're from Germany. So uh, thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you, um, Marcos. With that, we are uh, uh, giving you the opportunity to prepare for your individual meetings. And we are calling on stage um, Laura from Metabix biotech laura is joining us from uruguay laura, the hi hi Good luck in your presentation and yeah. start sharing your screen and then the time will start can you see yes all good to go okay 830 million people suffer from hunger around the world, while 15% of crops and 20% of livestock are losing due to illnesses caused by viruses and bacteria. These invisible enemies lurk and spread through the environment, for example, through the air, water, and soil. This is the reason why Metabix Biotech developed hardware methods and software in order to predict emerging pathogens and microbiological risks in environmental samples. Our technology warns of treats 18 days early than the current solution. We move the classical 8 cost level to only 2 or 3. We simplify the sampling process and we are really more representative, while the current solution sample about 20 animals in 20,000 in one hour, we sample the whole place where these animals are located in only 10 minutes. 
In this way, we generate much, much more information relevant to our clients. For example, we can understand the epidemiological behaviors of pathogens and we can be prepared to new pathogens. We can adapt to the specific problems of each client. And we, when we study the market in these two important and relevant dimensions to our clients, we understand that we are in a low competitive area. These advantages are strictly aligned with our IP strategy. We combine patents with industrial secrets. For example, we have applied a patent for several countries, including the US, and we have the opportunity to write at least three more patents. These important mark, uh, brands are right now testing and validating our technology. So far, we have sales about $30,000. This picture shows the swine sacrifice carried out in China two years ago. Over 200 million pigs were sacrificed due to African swine fever. In fact, our technology is focused on prevent this kind of situation. We are in a global total market of $180 billion, and this market is growing. For example, global in vitro diagnostics grow 15% annually. We are in the ag tech and food tech business. We are software as a service, and we sell B2B with a subscription model. We estimate that we have to deliver it 800 plants in order to arrive $10 million in sales. Recently, we received grants from Annie and BidLab. Right now, we are uh, ma uh, making a bridge round of $600,000. This investment allows us to arrive to the data volume necessary to achieve a disruptive technology for pig and poultry sector. We are planning another round of $1.2 and this is totally aligned with our main three uh, goals to the next three years being positioning in the Colombian market, have moving our offices to the US and being selling to at least three of the largest brands of pig and poultry sector around the world. Martin Masner is our CTO. He is finishing his PhD in biology. William Serna is our advisor. He is president of an American company that sells to pig and poultry sector around the world. Oscar Figueira has over 20 years experience in food industry. I am Laura Macio. I am founder and CEO, biologist and serial entrepreneur. Together with Oscar Figueira, we have developed another company that last year was selected in 100 top around the world by the EWBC. We have a disruptive technology. We have a really winner team and we have the key in order to sell to the pig and poultry sector around the world in the short and middle term time. So I invite you to take this boost right now with us to this great opportunity of investment. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. Um, same words here. Well done. Congratulations on time. Um, wishing you good luck with your journey. I think uh, you have been working very hard over the last months and uh, you have set the stage to move forward. So congratulations and uh, we'll see you back uh, in your meeting room later on. Thank you very much. Do you like to eat ice cream? It's not only ice cream, but this ice cream helps you at the end to attack some of your allergies some of your problems but not only ice cream is the goal the food industry is the goal with a, a solution based on science i'm presenting Antje braga co-founder of beefy dice Antje, good luck with your presentation hello everyone thank you i'm going to share my screen please let me know when i am ready You're ready you to go, Antje. Yes, you're ready to go. Amazing. So, have you noticed that with every generation, health issues are getting worse? Now, 90% of children are suffering some kind of allergy or chronic disease, even a mild one. And at some point, they are going to experience a severe reaction. 
So this is due to our sedentary lifestyle, to eating too much processed food. In these two years of COVID, in sterile environments, just destroyed our immune system. So this is why we need urgently microorganisms to fight for our health. And now we know that gut balance and 99% of our health issues are directly connected to our gut microbiota, which are the trillion of microorganisms living in our guts. So whenever we hear about lactose intolerance, dermatitis, hay fever, or even depression, we are talking about a malfunctioning gut. So the challenge of the industry today is how to improve human health by improving gut microbiota and this to prevent and reduce diseases. So this is why in Bifidais, we invented a technology to reduce 75% of allergies in chronic diseases through a fast microbiota transformation. And our technology is based over the stabilization of probiotic bacteria, putting them into food and supplement vehicles, making sure they arrive into the guts, colonize and show visible impact from 21 days of consumption. So we did scientific validation through 18 preclinical and clinical studies in six countries, in vitro and during consumption. We did as well commercial validation. So just to give you an example, this last year we sold $200,000 and next year we aim to sell three times more. But we understood that to scale, e-commerce was not the answer and not even being in Chile. This is why we developed a business model to go into United States and from there scale into the world, selling our technology to empower existing products on the market. And if we take the first 10 B2B early adopters, at the end of next year, we could reach $6 million in Bifidize empowered products. So we have been developing different B2B projects principally in R&D to move into United States and demonstrate our efficiency over there. And this is why we are working very hard in our IEP and regulatory strategy so we can start with the first customers. And the market size in United States, it's a big piece of cake. And we aim to get the 10% of the healthy ice cream, snacks, ingredient and supplement segment. And the team that it's going to make this happen gathers more than 40 years of experience in biotech, science, product development, B2B channels and marketing strategies. And we have been very busy trying to understand and all the market players. And despite there are several probiotics, prebiotics, digital gut health trackers, microbiota transplantation solutions, no one was able to dem demonstrate that it could transform microbiota composition in a short period of time. So they are now all potential customers. And this is the enormous and amazing advisory board we have right now and that we really, really love every one of them and they are helping us to succeed. So at this moment, we are in our first bridge round of $1 million of which we have already $200,000 secured in the bank. And this money, we are going to use it to start and validate our technology in United States, start operations over there and get our first B2B early adopters. And just thinking about a possible acquisition, when we checked the average deal size last year, it went for our industry, it went from half of a billion to $1.5 billion. So this gives us the potential acquirement of Bifidize in the next couple of years of $1.1 billion. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. Antje, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, wonderful presentation, very engaging um, and good luck with this uh, very challenging journey. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, for the public, later on, you can meet Antje, you can meet uh, Sid Lali or Laura directly in the meeting rooms and you can ask more questions and learn more about their journey. As the next startup, we are welcoming Arcomed Lab. Argument Lab is uh, addressing a significant challenge when young people or uh, uh, people with diseases impacting their, their head, specifically the reconstruction of bone, 
And um, in that regard, they are pioneers in Latin America and they are set up with a very specific strategy and technology to bring this technology now into the world. They have already a significant track record. Mariano, congratulations what you have accomplished so far and uh, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Marco. Uh, can you hear me okay? We can hear you and your presentation is on the screen. Great, thank you. Let's begin then. Um, the face is the first interaction you have with the world and thousands of people suffer from head deformities, from trauma, congenital problems, or diseases like cancer. Arcovet Lab was founded in 2018 with the mission to give access to customized health solutions to people around the world. For us, customized health is the future and is the main target of our innovation efforts. We specialize in medical 3D printing of cranial and maxillofacial implants, synthetic bone, and we are restoring lives and bringing back the anatomy and function to each of our patients. This is a very interesting market that is projected to reach 5.8 billion by 2031. Until 2021, our strategy was to expand through LATAM, where we have already 500 implants successfully installed in six different countries. But we believe our technology is ready to make an impact in the rest of the world, and especially the US market, where the total market is over a billion dollars, and we have estimated our target market at 100 million. Our CEO is already established in Miami, and we have been working hard towards getting FDA approval, which we expect uh, we expect to be granted by the end of first quarter next year. This will allow us to start selling our implants during 2023. But uh, there's a bigger opportunity. Uh, every year, between 5 and 10% of all cranial implants get infected during the post-op period. This means patients' lives are at risk and there's higher healthcare costs. We developed uh, a technology that allows our implants to release droplets of antibiotics and other drugs that works only by gravity and needs no external or internal mechanisms. This system is a more effective way to penetrate the blood-brain barrier and has applications on other treatments like chemotherapy. This means less risk for patients, lower costs, and better care. We can achieve this because we are worldwide pioneers in developing medical 3D printing technology that replicates not only the anatomy of human bone, but we can also alter its internal structure. This opens possibilities and allows for bioactivation. In contrast, our competition manufactures with subtraction methods that only produce the solid implants. We are currently in the process of patenting this technology in the US and we are currently developing new applications of our implants like sternum, hips, and other part of the body. Our invitation to you is to get involved into our seed route. We're seeking to raise $4 million through a price equity round that will fund our US landing and position us to scale up. Our team is made up by Ilan Rosenberg and Market, uh, Marcos Carmeda that are specialized in maxillofacial and cranial rehabilitation and are powerful innovators, as well as business-focused investors. We hope to impact uh, lives in the US as we are doing today in LATAM. Thank you very much and hope to hear from you soon. Mariano, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Uh, it's always for me amazing to see what today's medicine allows for and that you are pioneers, um, it's uh, undiscutable. So congratulations, well done the pitch, and uh, I hope you find a lot of supporters to impact the lives of those people. Thank you so much. And with that, um, we are moving forward. We are presenting to you AI Active, a startup which is supporting healthcare access and specifically providing those who need physical therapy kinesiology to do this in a very effective way with the support of experts but at home. Christian, welcome and good luck with your pitch. The stage is yours. Thank you, Marcus. So let me know, please, if we are ready to start. 
you can you're ready to start your screen is visible and you are on stage perfect thank you so just imagine yourself waking up with a back pain and during the day it's getting worse and worse and it doesn't matter if you have the resources to solve this problem this one is not going to be solved in the next weeks because the center where you must to go it doesn't have the capacity or opening hours to take care of you well nine out of ten patients in america can get the on time and proper access to the physical medicine Many of them end with a drug dependency, with a medical license that are very expensive and with an early disability. This lack of capacity of the healthcare system generates a huge economic damage. Growing gap of access uh, has left a largest population every year and is relegated this population to be, to be uh, living a low quality of life. At the active, we have developed a hundred percent 100% autonomous web platform that can work with no human supervision, which has been the great limitation in the capacity of the healthcare system, especially in physical medicine. We can analyze the move of a person using the camera of any device, and with this we can provide diagnosis support, guide the rehabilitation process, and follow up during the time. This solution creates a new scenario. We will be able to increase the current capacity of the healthcare system by at least 40% with a projection of increase it to reach all of the unsatisfied demand. At the same time, we will be able to cut out the cost of pocket by more than half to close the access of, of gap and be a cost-effective solution. We start to commercialize the first functionality of our technology, and this milestone allows us to quick upload the market, discover our clients, and obtain the technical validation of the user. We did it in the sport and training market because its dynamics and innovative ecosystem easy to find and early adopted. But we have not stopped the develop of our technology. We can contribute in different areas. This is how we are releasing a treatment platform, the longest process in the patient's journey, the most expensive for both sides, and that can generate the greatest social impact. With the active people will be able to receive a guide on what and how they should carry out their rehabilitation plan. Do it wherever they can without having to travel and always with the objective and supervision of our intelligence. And why look the health market? Because it's a huge blue ocean. It's a market that grows year after year. It's inelastic and on the powerful timing of the digitalization, a product of the pandemic. This new functionality will allow us to maintain the relationship with our clients for longer and integrate a more complete solution to their problems. For the same reason, we will get a higher ticket, improving the return of our sales effort. Starting in our hospitals, in public hospitals in Chile, we hope to make our first sales between April and June of the next year. We are not a software company developing another digital solution. We are users who experience the problem by first hand. During the pandemic, the center where we were working with Magdalena was closed and we had to find solution where the technology was a great ally. So we incorporated Roman and Felipe for their experience and developing technological solution and generating business basis on data. Now supported by more than 10 professionals, balancing knowledge and experience in biomechanics, tech and clinics are, are facing to this challenge. To continue growing in this path of the disruption in the health system, we are looking for $750,000 over the next 18 months, working four elements of our plan in order of priority. Increase our current um, sales and add new markets such as Mexico, Colombia. Improve our products in UX and quality of the analyze and create barriers that allow us to work with advantage in this growing market. We are boosting a disruption way to solve this huge problem. In a couple of years, with a simple video of a few seconds, we will be able to know with a high level of certainty what will happen to your body to be able to intervene early, cheaper, and improving today your quality of life. This predictive model will allow us to reconfigure the healthcare system. So let's change the way that we understand these services. The supply cannot be insufficient when we are talking about health. With the active, we are not helping our patients. We are helping millions of people around the world at the same time. Using the technology, the solution we will go with you in your pocket everywhere where you need it. So make this move 
to make a global impact. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. The impact is clearly visible. Anybody who has ever had uh, the need for physiotherapy uh, will clearly understand what your innovation means for the impact on healthcare access and for the, the health of human beings. So congratulations on that. I think it's, it's massive what you're doing and really wishing you and the entire team all the best of luck. We have the confidence you will do well. With that, thank you very much. And we are welcoming on stage Juan Ignacio from Valley. Uh, Juan, you're joining us from Argentina. Um, wishing you good luck with your presentation. And of course, a lot of interest generated in the crowd, which we have here with us at the moment. Juan, the stage is yours. Hi, Marcus. Okay, uh, do you listen to me yet? Yes, uh, now you can okay, share. Great, okay. Please let me know if you are, if you can see my presentation. Perfect. Full on okay, screen. Okay, great. Right. Great. Hi, everyone. I'm Juan. I'm from Bali. And you may know several or maybe all of these pathologies, but what you may not know is what cytogenetic studies are. But they are necessary not only to diagnose, but also to indicate treatment for all of these pathologies. The thing is that cytogenetics uh, has been historically slow. And so imagine you are an oncologist and you have this leukemia patient, uh, you know you can't wait for three weeks to get the results. So today as a doctor, you may resort to other studies to get a faster, but maybe inadequate diagnosis. And this is what's happening in cytogenetics every day. This is not fiction. Cytogenetics is the branch of diagnostics that studies the chromosomes. A specialist segment and identify them in multiple images, just like this one. But they need to do this for 1,000 chromosomes for a single study. And the main problem is that there's no complete automation of these tasks yet. So today, specialists diagnose no more than two patients a day only. Centers conduct a low number of studies for the same reasons, and patients experiment time delays to treatment, or they are not even diagnosed with the correct study in the first place. So this isn't working for anybody, of course, and that's why in Bali, we are reducing turnaround times with artificial intelligence on the web, and our first estimations indicate that we do that by 50%. And for that, we have a web platform to automate the segmentation and identification of chromosomes, where specialists just upload the images, press this button, and in a couple of seconds, they receive the predictions from our artificial intelligence models. And centers can access these functionalities under a monthly subscription. But the thing is that in the final stage of the analysis, the specialists still need to go through all those thousand chromosomes to search for a specific anomalies in them to get the final diagnosis of the patients. And that's the hard part to automate in cytogenetics, given the variability that you can find in the data. So today we are offering centers to upload the images and ask for an external analysis in the platform. And we pay an external specialist to do that in less than 24 hours. And we charge the center as a software, as a service per case. And we are doing this because in this way, we are employing external specialists as the automation that still doesn't exist while we collect data in the meantime to be the first to automate this particular and hard task in the future. And this is a key differentiation of Bali versus competitors uh, because for the first time, specialists have the incentive to label these anomalies in the data that are necessary to automate cytogenetics. Otherwise, they are just uh, observing them and getting the final diagnosis, but not marking them in the data. And also, Bali is the only solution on the web that is building a cytogenetics network. Competitors only offer softwares that need to be installed in terminals, in the laboratories as internal tools, and they don't also allow for collaborative work or case sharing, for example. Uh, today, we have seven centers as free active users in Argentina with more than 10,000 patients already diagnosed with the platform. We started offering the platform for free uh, because we wanted to collect data to train our artificial intelligence models and improve them, and also to get our first metrics and validate the technology. But we already have our first paying customer this month in Argentina, and we also are planning to get our first agreement with a center from the US in December. We are onboarding now a center from the US in the platform under free trial. Uh, we are also planning to get regulatory approval in Spain and Argentina by February. We've been working uh, for several months now in that documentation. Uh, by November 2023, we plan to get FDA clearance under 510K and by December to reach $60,000 in MRR. 
The total market size is around $1 billion, but for the next three years, we plan to focus on a total market of $150 million, uh, most of which is in the United States, to reach our goal of $6 million in revenue in 2025, aiming for an exit at a $30 million valuation at that point. And for all of this, uh, we are looking for $500,000 to be spent mostly on artificial intelligence R&D, on product development, and also on our FDA strategy. This is our founding team. We have more than 20 years of combined experience in artificial intelligence, in genetics, and we also co-founded together a company of laboratories of high complexity uh, in Argentina, where we managed almost 70 employees. So we believe in our team, and to end, I want to ask you to believe in us to reach every patient everywhere. Thank you. Juan, uh, thank you very much, uh, always. Uh, a pleasure to see your passion for what you do. Congratulations and uh, to the public, you can meet with Juani uh, after the pitch session in the meeting rooms. Thank you, Juani. And last but not least, are you experiencing problems with sleeping? Do you know that there are industries where sleeping is a real problem, a health problem leading to significant consequences of the businesses. This is exactly what Biome Resources is addressing. And Cristobal, welcome, good luck, and the stage is yours. And your presentation is already up, you can go. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, good evening. We are Biome Resources, a biotech company that helps people to get the rest of their dreams. Sleeping well is a long-standing aspiration for everyone. Let's make an exercise. Ask yourself, did I just sleep well last night? But probably not. Don't worry. In fact, four of ten people declare to have poor sleep quality. It's a universal problem, an expensive one too. As all in the US, around two billion is spent to solve these kind of issues annually. This scenario is even more critical when you add a special condition. For example, in the mining industry where people are exposed to geographic altitude, rotating shift, and stress, all conditions affect their quality of rest many times with fatal consequences. Studies in North America show that industry productivity falls around 5% due to the condition of somnolence or fatigue. Let's agree that poor sleep quality impacts us everywhere. This multidimensional issue is affected by our environment, the kind of food that we eat, lack of physical activity, stress level, just to mention a few. Luckily, all these inputs are being recorded. By who? <clears throat> by our microbiome. The microbiome is our living database that stores information about our lifestyle. Now we know changes in this database can be linked to sleep disorder symptoms. And this, this was the opportunity that we saw with Morpheus. Morpheus is our artificial intelligent database model, which take and process microbiome data, crosses it with other sources of information about sleep quality, such as dynamic electroencephalogram, clinical data, and the outcome of this analysis is a measure of your sleep quality. And like a traffic light system, let you know different conditions. Besides that, generate customized guidance on how to improve it. Sorry. I... Our, business, our business model follows a sleep as a service strategy. First, uh, we will collaborate with industry that face this kind of challenge, like the mining industry. We will provide a 24 seven platform where they can collect all worker data from lifetime to pill, looking to improve their sleep quality and consequently their working condition and productivity. Secondly, after consolidating enough data, we will offer a B2C option where people can monitor their microbiome and sleep quality variable through a mobile application and receive personal guidance. Our market is immersed in the global sleep SaaS market with a growth rate average of more than 15% projected for the next five years, accounting by 2027 of around 2 billion considering only Chile and the US. If we look at the competition, even though there are several options to fight against somnolence and fatigue, 
many of them are focused on the symptom and not on the reason behind it, which is the gap we want to help close. Our team is composed of people who have suffered the impact of working under extreme conditions and for that reason have proposed and worked in the development of solutions for somnolence. As well, we count on people studying and teaching about the microbiome and its impact on human uh, life. Sorry. Currently, we are working on protecting both the trademark and copyright of our company and leading product, Morpheus, the software, and Chronobiotic, the probiotic. During the year 2024, we seek to obtain the patenting of Morpheus methodology associated with sleep quality treatment. And by 2025, we plan to be able to patent our probiotic. And then in 2026, we will begin designing the patenting strategy for our generalized diagnostic methodology using microbiome. Our investment requirement is $1 million, which will allow us to face the investment need for the first two years. The distribution of this capital will be focused on production where personnel and supplies will cover about 50%. This capital will allow us to collect data to make more robust our A and E model. Last but not least, if we use the VC method and consider VC requiring a projected rate of return of 60%, which is in line with early stage benchmark, the result is a return on investment of more than 10. Our exit strategy focus on acquisition will be planned and agreed upon with the investor as part of our board. Thank you and remember, we are Bion Resource, a biotech company that helps people get the rest of their dreams. Thank you, Cristobal. Thank you very much. Uh, very engaging, wonderful presentation. And, um, you know, I, I, I personally have to say I don't have that problem. I sleep very well, but I know many people who are suffering it. So I'm not one of the four, but um, what you are doing is really amazing, and I think uh, the impact will be visible um, not only in the mining industry, but globally. Thank you very much, Cristobal. Um, we are coming to that point where we always say, you know, who are the winners? But, you know, honestly, when I ask you all, you know, who do you see as winners? We see that all of the startups over the last four months have worked extremely hard and significantly progressed, not only in the way they present, the pitch is only the result of all the work which goes in because each single slide has content which is developed through the work we do with the startups. And of course, they at the end are the experts. We are only the advisors. We are only the ones which give the helping hand and the access to the knowledge. Um, so it's very, very difficult for us always to decide who is ready for that next step to go to the US and validate the technology. And therefore for us, it's not so much about the winning, but it's about the progress the startups can accomplish because when the program is over, we are not over. We are partners with the startups and we are supporting them step by step that they all achieve this step towards internationalization. Um, still, at the end of the program, we always have two startups which are selected by our external committee. And it's very important. It's an external committee. We have partners in the United States and in Latin America who are participating in a final event, which was last week, and we, we, where we are rating, selecting and judging on the progress of the startups from the beginning to the end of the program. And that is the basis for the decision who is ready for this next step. And with that, I can play the drums, but at the end, we will play a video and announce the two companies which will have access to a sponsored two months and one month um, market validation program in the United States with our international partners. Everybody comes on stage and then Diego, I kindly ask you to start and present the video.
I'm back. I have some some sound issues. Please go. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say. This really is a surprise. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm really happy. I'm sure the guys are, are happy. Also, they are here. And uh, of course, well, we now need to go to Santiago to have some drinks. I imagine. <laughs> we, we will. We will great. see. You don't have to come to Santiago. In two weeks, we will be in Miami. We will be all together, and we will celebrate you. Of course, of course. Con con congratulations great. from the entire team, from all the participants. Um, we have high confidence that this next step will be very successful for you. Mariano or Ilan? I'm not sure who's the next one. Uh, Mariano, you want to come on stage, switch on your video, video and, your, and your, your voice? Hi, hi. I, 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 I think Ilan's not here. Ilan's right now in, in Mexico in a, in a very big Congress. So we're really thankful. It's, it's a very big surprise for us. Uh, we're very thankful for, 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 for the Ganesha Lab, to you, Marcus, all the team. Catalina, Hector, you know, Camilo, Diego. If I'm missing anyone, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, it's been an, an incredible journey, uh, very demand, very demanding. Uh, it, it's been hard, and uh, I, I really want to congratulate everyone else in, in this uh, in this cohort. Uh, I think all the other companies are doing amazing work, and and I think that it speaks very highly of. of of your selection process, uh, that we have such great uh, companies in our in our generation. So thank you very much. It, it, it's incredible, and we're and we're we're very happy and, and very surprised. Thank you. Thank you, Mariano. Congratulations, also from our side. Now, of course, um, as I said, you are all winners. And um, as it was very tight, and one startup was so tight behind the first two that we have another surprise for you guys um, first of all um, we will continue to work with those who have not been selected we will see us all in Miami and those in the crowd who have not signed up to come to Miami the 9th and the 10th we have our biohunt summit where we bring 20 of our portfolio startups plus 10, 10 other startups from Latin America from our community of investors to Miami to present them to United States-based investors. And we have confirmation from investors, not only from Miami, but from, the, from New York, from Boston, from California. So if you have not signed up to come to Miami yet, don't miss it. Um, you just need to, to, to contact us and we will send you the link. You sign up, you take your flight and you are there with us for two days for an amazing experience. As I said, we have another surprise because we had one startup which was very close, very, very close with only one decimal point behind the second place. And therefore we decided to give that startup a special shout out, shout out and sponsor uh, a next step in the sense that we will pay for the flight um, to start exploring the United States. This startup has had three elements which we found specifically interesting and also which really re uh, um, uh, uh, require um, a specific entrepreneurial spirit. They started and joined with an idea. And as we could see today, they have first customers. They have first revenues. That takes enormous dedication to develop that in, within four to five months and in parallel join and work with us in the program. On the other hand, a role model entrepreneur who has been highly focused, super persistent, listening, learning and transforming into the business. And on the other hand, helping the community, being there for other startups to provide ideas, to provide help or whatever is needed. And on the other hand, already recognized by investors and companies outside of the region. Therefore, Lauda with Metabix, congratulations. This year we are announcing a third winner and you are our third winner or the third one who will be sponsored for um, starting your validation in the United States. Laura, congratulations, please come on stage. Thank you. I saw emotion, so thank you so much. Uh, um, and especially uh, all the team, I think that really is the, 
the best program that I ever, ever participate and all the human uh, beings that I meet are great and the program is, is the best. Thank you so much. Laura, thank you so much. And to the others, Antje, Sid Lali, Christian, Cristobal, um, uh, you are not, not winners. You are winners as everybody is a winner. And we will be sitting down as of tomorrow with you to define exactly what is the support you will get from us over the next months to reach that stage and get our support in that same market validation which the other startups are starting now. So once more, thank you very much. An amazing, amazing group. It was a lot of fun. It was very intense, but a lot of fun for all of us to work with you. And we are looking forward for the next years to be with you in your journey towards success. Um, with that, I'm giving you the opportunity now to meet, that means you, the participants uh, in the public, to go and join the startups in the round tables. You just, you will see the round tables. You just click on the round table and you will be joining the round table to meet the individual uh, founders of the companies to be able to talk with them. Thank you very much. Congratulations once more. Really proud of you.